Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25217. Microsoft released this build on the eight year anniversary of the Windows Insider program. So we have a build today for the dev channel and uh, we have some exciting news regarding the widgets section of Windows 11. In this video, as always, we're gonna talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this build. So if you enjoy videos like these, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all the most exciting news developers can start building third-party widgets or custom widgets finally Microsoft is working on implementing this so we now have custom widgets in Windows 11 so developers with packed win 32 apps will be able to create and test third-party widgets locally if their machine is running in developer mode and also developers will also need to be on the latest insider preview build on the dev channel to get the necessary update for the widgets port. No limitations right now from Microsoft. Third-party widgets can only be tested locally on the latest insider preview builds from the dev channel for this preview release. And also once WinApp SDK 2.0 GA is out, users on released versions of Windows 11 can begin acquiring third-party widgets via the Microsoft Store for shipped versions of their app. And also support for third-party PWA widgets will also be coming as part of a future Microsoft Edge release. So this is pretty exciting. I'm glad that Microsoft is introducing this and we will be able to see custom widgets even on the Microsoft Store and ourselves will be able to create custom widgets for Windows 11, of course, if we have the necessary coding skills. Next up, Microsoft is improving the cloud suggestions in simplified Chinese IME. More info about that in the article below in the description. And also they are rolling out the new Tamil Anjal keyboard for the Tamil language. And starting today, it is available to all Windows and in the dev channel. Also, Microsoft is disabling a new feature that they worked on. They disabled the new touch keyboard setting that first began rolling out to Windows Insiders in build 25188. They hope to bring back this feature in the future after further refinement of the design. In this update, we also have a new update for the Microsoft Store. So make sure to go in the library section and get updates in the Microsoft Store to get the latest version of the Microsoft Store. And one of the improvements of this new version is that they have enhanced the library experience with simplified options and improved performance. And also, while finding games in the store, the games will now clearly show when they're available with Game Pass as well as the current available price. On the detail page of such a game, they updated the button design and added a new section to let you know what is included in the subscription. So now let's talk about some fixes. First of all, we have some fixes regarding the tablet optimized taskbar. They fixed the issue causing the taskbar to sometimes collapse when it should be expanded if there are no running windows on the desktop. They also fix an issue that would occur when using the left or right edge gestures resulting in the widgets or notification center to overlap with or look truncated by the taskbar. They also fixed an issue that was causing the tablet optimized taskbar to crash explore.exe while switching apps. And they fixed an issue that was causing the tablet optimized taskbar to crash explore.exe if you entered the overflow flyout. Regarding windowing, they fixed an issue where the close button for Windows preview thumbnails in the task view was drawing slightly outside the bounds of the thumbnail. They also fixed an issue where when switching between windows and recent builds you might see the entire window flash black for a frame while rendering. We also have some system tray updates. They fix an issue so that quick settings items can now be rearranged with the touch again. Regarding the settings app, they fixed an issue under network and internet and then advanced network settings where certain networks were displaying the wrong link speed. And also they fix an issue where remote desktop on ARM64 PCs was unexpectedly not using UDP and only TCP. So basically this is all the risk to it in this new Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. This was the build 25217. More info about this build regarding known issues and other informations you can find in the article below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.